How the fuck did we end up here? Okay. June 4th, 1919, the 19th Amendment, giving women the right to vote. Ratified August 18th, 1920. All you need to keep in mind, it's about 100 years ago. Just keep that 100 years ago number in your head. Okay, moving forward about 20 years, December 7th, 1941, Pearl Harbor. America gets into the Second World War. This did two things. The first thing it did, we grabbed all our alpha males, shipped them out to fight. Whenever a country sends their alpha males to war, not all of them come back. The more alpha males that die in war, the less there are left at home to have kids and raise the next generation of alpha males. So every time a country has a war, somehow magically you end up with less alpha males. That in itself hurts society. There's something else that happened. With all the alpha males gone, we needed somebody in our factories to build the bombs and guns and equipment for the alphas to use. We sold women a fantastic lie. Women and men are the same. A woman can do everything a man can do. It's demonstrably false. The average man is stronger than 99% of women. I'm going to say that again. The average man is physically stronger than 99% of women. Men and women are different. That being said, it worked. We got the women in the factories, building the bombs and the guns and the equipment, and we got the alpha males using it. We won the war. But even though we won, there's always these unexpected negative repercussions of war. So some interesting stuff happened as soon as the war was over. Now, do you think the women happily put their aprons back on and went to bake cookies? No. They created the HR department. See, men and women are different. So when you take a place that was all men, the men leave, the women go in and then the men come back, what you create is you create new things in that environment. Men and women are different. When the women got in corporate America with the men there, they create the HR department. The HR department is a whole mess of feminine energy to deal with later. Maybe some other day. <laughs> but here's the key thing. Because the women weren't at home holding the family together, the family fell apart. I mean, what, what stupidity is this? I'm supposed to sell my wife off to the highest bidder? It's called work. And then I'm supposed to sell my kids off to the lowest bidder? It's called daycare? Well, your kids are being raised by strangers. No wonder they don't know who the fuck they are or what they're supposed to do or what they stand for. They didn't have a stable family life. They got abandoned by their family. So I'm not saying that a hundred years ago we shouldn't have given women the right to vote. What I'm saying is that we did and on the grandiose time scale, 200,000 years for us homo sapiens, the last 100 years is not really that big of a thing. So what we found out is in this process of, of bringing women into the entire world, that there's some bumps. And that's what we're dealing with. So to understand where this stuff comes from, it's just basic evolutionary psychology. So women and men are different. Women and men have different survival 
modes, different ways that they survive in the world. And again, I'm not talking about the last 100 years, I'm talking about the last 200,000. So for men, it was really simple what it meant to be a man in the tribe. The man went out, hunted, and brought back food. The other job was to protect the village, which sometimes meant dealing with attacks and other times meant attacking others. The experience for a man, his, his survival mechanism, was to be a badass motherfucker. Why? Because when you're out hunting the woolly mammoth, those other men that you're with, they better be solid motherfuckers because if there's one case of cowardice or stupidity, everybody dies. And if everybody dies, chances are you're not going to be feeding your village and your women and your kids die off too. That's what it meant to be a man. You stuffed your fears, you stepped up to the plate, and you did what had to be done. Now, for women, the survival was a little bit different. So their, their way of doing things was they were in a village that was protected. They never got exposed to the situations that would program their biology to need to figure out if someone was a threat or not. Because again, the men were the gatekeeper. So the, the men as the gatekeepers would figure out who they would allow into the village or not. They were the ones that decided what was safe and what wasn't. The women's experience was that anyone that came into the village, they should be uh, helped and nurtured and had their medical needs attended to and fed. And, and do whatever you can to get them back up to par, so to speak, and keep a smile on their face. That was the experience for women. So what's getting left out here is they never evolved to deal with what we did as gatekeepers for them. So this is why you end up with women politicians behaving not like politicians, but like nurturing idiots, where they've decided that the way to have a successful country is to let anyone walk across the border that wants to and then give them unlimited free shit. It doesn't work. And it's, it's not the women's fault. They weren't ever programmed through negative repercussions of making bad decisions. So, do I blame women for the state of affairs that we're at right now? No. I blame men. I blame the alpha males. Let me explain. We civilized the world. I know if you tune in to the cable news, they tell you that the world is falling apart, but if you look at statistics, just pull up crime statistics for the last 50 years somewhere in the USA and realize that things have gotten easier. In fact, things got so easy in this country, we made it so safe and so fair that males don't even know what to do anymore. We've lost our utility. <laughs> like, hey, who do we protect from lions and tigers and bears? There aren't any. Okay, well, um, now we don't know what to do. Well, the answer is, is men, we need to call bullshit on this stuff. It's been a hundred years, women are out in the real world, and it's time to take the gloves off and treat them as equal. And it's time to call bullshit on bullshit. So, the last thing you need to understand about evolutionary psychology and women, they're programmed that if they're around a bunch of weak guys to let in other guys and let survival of the fittest play out. So right now as Western men are getting weaker and weaker and weaker, 
They're importing them from anywhere else they can to see if they can find a real man to mate with. <laughs> so what does this mean if you're an incel sitting at home in your mom's basement and you're pissed off at the world? Okay, well let me explain it to you like this. You're going to feel like a piece of shit sitting on the floor as long as you're a piece of shit sitting on the floor. You need to get up and fucking do something. This is what men do. Realize that you have a set of testicles and that fucking means something. The next thing you do is you stop listening to all this bullshit around you and you start calling people out on it. One of the things that I've watched to my horror for the last two plus years is these children going hysterical and throwing a temper tantrum over the fact that Trump was elected president. And they're still going, even though the Mueller report is over. They're still going. So how do you deal with that stuff? Well, the same way I dealt with it, people around me. You bite the fuck back. Someone wants to start talking about, oh my God, you know, Trump is gonna be impeached, he's treasonous. You say, okay, here's how it works in America. It's innocent until proven guilty. You tell me what evidence you have and you tell me exactly what law was broken. If you can't give me a law that was broken and you don't have evidence to back that up, shut the fuck up. It means that the next time somebody tells you that there's 87 genders, you tell them they're fucking crazy. This is what it means to be a man. Stop blaming the social justice warriors. Stop blaming women. Stop blaming feminists. Blame yourself for listening to them. You're a man. We got a lot to talk about. We'll keep the videos coming.